Hi, I'm Jennifer Beal, and I've been teaching kids how to memorize their times tables for a long time, and I've developed some surefire ways that work great. Um, the first thing I do to teach the kids their threes and fours is I make sure that if they hold their fingers in front of them like this, so they're looking at the back of their hands, that they know what number each finger would be if they were counting to 10. So one, two, three, four, five. The thumb is, the first thumb on the left hand is five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now that might seem easy, but a lot of kids don't have that down. And what I want them to be able to do is just immediately know what finger I'm pointing to or touching. So if I touch this finger, they know it's finger number seven, five plus the six, seven. Um, if I touch this thumb, they know five. If I touch this thumb, thumb, they know six. So that is really important. I practice with the kids until I know they all know um, which finger is which. And if I'm working with a whole class, I can have everybody hold up their fingers and w I'll say, okay, wiggle your ninth finger and I can quickly check and make sure everyone in the class knows what finger is number nine. So this is the first thing I do. Once they know their finger number, I now teach them to skip count. So we're going to skip count by threes first. And um, so what I do is I, on the board or on a piece of paper, I can trace their hands on a piece of paper. I can just make giant hands on a whiteboard like this. I write the numbers above the finger and then I talk about how we're going to skip count. So we're going to count by threes and so we know this will be one three um, and then two threes, three threes, four threes, five threes and so on. And what I do is I teach them this chant and I'm going to write it down um, if I'm doing it on the board, I would write the um, number here. So three would go here. And this is my chant. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-four, twenty-seven, thirty, twenty-one, twenty-four, twenty-seven, thirty. So I always repeat the last four fingers. Then I make sure that they can say that chant just like I did and what it is is I tell them we go quick 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 then we give a double beat for the for each of the thumbs and then quick 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 uh, twice so here, I'll say it again for you three six nine twelve fifteen eighteen twenty one twenty four twenty seven thirty twenty one twenty four twenty seven thirty and I'm gonna write those in right now um, like I would for the kids because if I'm teaching a whole class I let them chant it while they're looking at the numbers on the board so um, they're all going to chant it over and over until they um, have memorized it and the kids really like to do this um, I'll, I'll slowly erase some of the numbers once I think they've got it some of the kids will volunteer to turn around and face away from the board and say the whole chant. I'm going to say it one more time. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-four, twenty-seven, thirty, twenty-one, twenty-four, twenty-seven, thirty. Okay, so once the kids can skip count quickly, um, there they can use that as a crutch to answer any of the three times tables. So um, that is the first step, but it's not enough. What I really want them to do is to actually be able to memorize the times tables and not to have to skip count to get to the answer. So here's what we do. What I start out with is I say, look, there's two teen numbers and they're your thumbs. So I say, so look, we know this is finger 5, so 5 times 3 is 15, and 6 times 3 is the other thumb, that's the other teen number, 18. So as soon as I show them that, they quickly memorize 5 times 3 and 6 times 3. So I find that really helps. Um, 
Then we talk about these three fingers, which these three facts are the hard ones, 7 times 3, 8 times 3, and 9 times 3. But I say, look, they're all in the 20s. 7 is going to be before 8, so 21 is before 24. And then 9 is the one right before 10 times 3, so it's the one right before 30. 9 times 3 is 27. So I practice with the kids over and over um, until they can just get them quickly. And what they can do that is very helpful is they can take a piece of paper, a regular piece of paper, and I can trace their hands and then I can write the answers for them just like I did on the board and I can write the fact, the times table, one, three, two, three, three, threes, four, threes on the top and then they can play, a, uh, they can study on their own they, or they could study with a partner. A partner could touch one of their fingers like this one and then what I have them do first is say that's my seventh finger, seven times three is twenty-one and they can just check right away. Um, if someone touches nine, they go nine, this is my ninth finger, nine times three is twenty-seven and they can check by moving their finger. It really works. I've seen kids memorize their three times tables in about 10 minutes using this strategy. So I really recommend it. Now I have a different chant for the fours. So I, I start, I don't teach the fours until I know they've totally memorized their threes. They don't need the chant anymore. They've just got it down so well. And once they know their threes, I um, start over by tracing their hands and I teach them a different chant for the fours. Uh, the chant for the fours goes like this and I'll hold my hands like this starting over here so the camera can see it but normally I have the kids looking at their hands uh, palms down. Okay so the fours chant goes like this 4, 8, 12, 16, 20 and a lot of times I'll slap the table with 20. So I'm going to do that again. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. 24, 28, 32, 36, 40. And that's my chant for the fours. I pretty much do the same thing. I, I have them put their hands, I, I trace their hands, I put in the answers under their finger, and then we practice. Um, we look at some of the patterns we can see. And um, anyway, Try this method, I think it'll really work.